Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Minibytes. I am your friend Amun Shaktivel and in this video we are going to see how we can run our Selenide APM test in Lambda test. Again, Lambda test one of, is one of the uh, cloud providers available. There are other cloud providers available too but you know, uh, I thought I will make a video on Lambda test because I really like their platform uh, compared to others. I have recently been introduced to Lambda test by one of my friends and and to be honest, this has really good features, right? Uh, so yeah, without wasting a lot of much uh, time, uh, we can get into the IntelliJ, right? So so far, uh, we have two uh, providers classes. Um, again, this is where the Selenium Selenide APM will be really helpful. For example, look at the implementation. It's 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 it, it is very clear that this particular class is responsible for launching the SaaS Lab Android app in our local, right? If you have your APM server up and running in your local machine, you can use this. This class is used for uh, opening your iOS app if your APM server is running in your local. But if you want to run it on a Lambda test, it's very simple. We're going to keep our separations very clean and, and we're going to name it as, let's say, Lambda test. Um, we're going to use the same source lab app. So maybe SaaS lab, uh, so Android app, provider, whatever. So yeah, so that's how simple it is. You create a class, you implement this web driver provider interface, and then you implement this method. And I do not know uh, how to pass it. Uh, uh, so what you can do is first, we'll say UI automator 2D options, uh, let's call it as options, um, and then UI 2D. So if you want to launch your Android app, you want to use UI automator 2 options, right? So, um, but apart from that, the decide capabilities, uh, you know, we do not know how to pass it because it varies for different cloud providers. So we need to check their platform. So, so let me go to their uh, website and and if you have if you don't have uh, an ac account with Lambda Test, it is very simple to create them. So you can just say Lambda Test, Lambda Test login, and then you should be in a position to log in, right? So yeah, uh, you know in your case. You will be uh, in a sign up page. You can uh, use that to log into your. Uh, you can create a new account and then you can log in. And this is how the dashboard will look like. In your case, it might be empty. Uh, again, you can use this tab for uh, doing some browser testing, live testing. Okay, you, want, you can open a session, browser session, and open, uh, do some testing. This is for app testing using emulators and simulators. If you want to do a real device testing, you can do this. You can use this. You can choose what device you want to choose, uh, what kind of platform you want to do and all that. So for automation, so for the app automation part, you can click on this. And I already have ran three tests just to verify, you know, I could run the test, uh, but how we can get started and start writing a test uh, to run it on Lambda test. And that's when there is a, a clear uh, capabilities generator link, which you can use. Um, so let me zoom it a bit. And if you notice here, uh, it has clearly uh, what language you want to choose. So I want to choose Java. And yeah, for now it's Java. You can choose Selenium or APM. I want to use APM. And for the older versions, you can use JSON wire protocol. But for uh, later versions or, or uh, latest version, you have to use WC3 protocol. So, so here, if you notice, they have clearly mentioned uh, you want to use W3C capabilities. They are creating a map and then injecting all these values here. Uh, you know, platform where you want to run the test, uh, the device where you want to run the test, platform version is real mobile. If if it is real mobile is set to true, it will run on real device. Otherwise, it will run on emulator, it seems. And then they are setting this uh, capability. So this is as simple as this. You can choose uh, a different device. For example, I want to choose Google Pixel 4 and 10. So this automatically gets changed, right? And what is the app that you want to work with, right? So that's something you can do. So if you go to the dashboard here, you notice there is an option to upload an app. So if you click on it, you can browse a file, okay? And then choose the APK file that you want to run. Once you upload this, okay? This basically gives you back an app URL, okay? So using this particular app URL, Lambda test will identify which app you want to run. Again, you can use this particular way to upload or you can use a curl command to upload an app. So if you notice, this is the app uh, it returned us. So we are going to use this in, uh, in our test. So let's go here and let's give the application 
you know have value so it, it automatically constructs all these things so debugging option so you want a screenshot you want net record video network logs whatever you want you can choose them as your needs uh, build name is uh, let's say test build uh, test name is test demo whatever you can give all these things project name is demo project right um, device orientation is port right by default i think it should be port right so so we can leave it as it is if you want to simulate the uh, locations you can also use them for now i'm not going to use any of that you want to out of grant permissions out of accept alerts you want to enable all these things if you want to install any other app along with this you can also do this so, so there are a lot of good stuff and all you have to do is just copy this um, and then paste it here right so there is a little bit of efforts involved for example i don't want to use design capabilities uh, so so i can use uh, ua automator two options instead of that so let's import the class okay and you don't have to provide the generics if you have already provided here it is automatically understood and instead of this all you have to do is calling options i mean you can also use design capabilities but i personally prefer uh, using options right um, once you are done with that uh, you need to create a new uh, so what we have done in here is creating new android driver and then this so let's copy this uh, go here the lambda test and put it here but the the url is not going to be a local host it should be a lambda test url how to get it so if you go to the dashboard again okay so you can see uh, the, the information here Okay, the hub information is here so let's copy this and then you can directly put it here that's it so this is my username uh this is my access key i can do it worry about it guys i can just click on regenerate and uh, my access key will get changed so don't think about uh, you know uh, utilizing this to run your test okay so this is how easy it is to rotate your key we set all the capabilities we want to run our test on pixel 4 uh everything looks good and the only change that I have to do is go, uh, there is still some errors. Let's see what is that. Let's go to the end. Okay. Uh, okay. I think there is one extra bracket here. Let's remove it. Now it looks good. So let's go to the selenate properties and choose the provider. So lambda test Android app provider. That's it. So let's close all these things and let's open the demo test. And let's try to run this test. Okay. This time it should launch the app but not in my local it should run the test here uh in the app automation kit the lambda test have you notice you can click on this and there is a new build and since we have named our build here it is all coming here so the test is test demo it's running on real pixel 4 android 10 uh so yeah i think the video will be uh displayed soon it is trying to create a connection yeah, you can find all the app information, capabilities that we passed, screenshots. Again, I didn't choose screenshots. If you have chosen screenshots, it will be there. So let's click on run and let's see what's happening. Okay, maybe it, it is taking a little bit of time. Yeah, so if you notice, the, the logs are here. So it created a session, uh, getting the current contacts, finding the elements and all the stuff. All good. Let's see how the video looks like. So it is trying to basically create a session um, and then yeah so launch the app you should click on the first element and then check whether the add to cart button is displayed so you can also see the locks here um, and then the, if you notice the apm locks you can see the apm is the apm version it is using is 1.22.3 yeah, let's say if you want to even customize that there is also a way you can go to lambda test um, and then can add one more capability and provide APM version and 2.0. And this basically lets you to run the test on APM server 2.0 version. So there are different versions available. Uh, but yeah, you can choose the 2.0 version that run your test. Again, the time we took is, is almost um, 20 seconds. Even if I run this in local, it will taking 14 to 15 seconds. So, so it is it is it is running really fast right compared to other stuff other providers 
yeah that's all about it i'll see you guys in another great video until then tada bye bye from mountain bye guys